My name is Thad Sergeant Cope. I'm an instructor here at Sabaloski Air Assault School. This morning we're going to go over the M149A2 water trailer. The reference material that covers that is TM4-48.10. So the first thing that you're going to check for the water trailer is the load brief, okay? So you're going to have the aircraft. Then you're going to move down to the weight of the load. And then you're going to have the link count. Now the link count, remember for the front it's 75 and for the rear it is 90. All right, so once you've checked the load brief, you're going to turn around. You're going to move to your bling lunette. You're going to check your chain to make sure it's going around one time and one time only. Now for your excess, you're going to make sure your excess is going around both these standing ends and then it is secured back to just one of those with a piece of type 3 nylon. Now you want to check your grab hook assembly, make sure it's not inverted, so your aluminum roller needs to be on the inside of that potted eye. You're going to move over here to that second one. You're going to check that your chain's going around your towing lunette one time one time only. You're going to check your excess, make sure it's wrapped around both of these ends and secured just to one of them with a piece of type 3 nylon. You're going to check your grab hook assembly again, make sure it's not inverted, aluminum roller's on the inside of that potted eye. Okay, you're going to check your front jack. Make sure that your front jack is secured with a piece of Type 3 nylon. Come over here. You're going to make sure that all your tubes, okay, it's secured with a piece of tape going all the way around. You're going to check that tape one more time right up here. Now, move it to your faucet box. You're going to make sure it's secured with a piece of Type 3 nylon or 2 inch tape and it's just going all the way around and then all lights again are taped. Once you get to your brake, you're going to make sure that your brake is engaged. Checking your tape. As you move to the back, check tape right here and there's a light hidden right here. Make sure that's taped as well. You're going to check tape and tape. Now this back, make sure that all of this is taped. All right, move into your sling leg. You're gonna make sure your grab hook assembly, again, is not inverted. Aluminum rollers on the inside of that potted eye. Make sure all of your excess, all right, is bundled up and is secured back to this grab hook assembly. Same thing, you're gonna check. Make sure your grab hook assembly is not inverted. Aluminum rollers on the inside of that potted eye. And all of your excess is bundled up and is secured to that grab hook assembly. Now you're gonna move right here. All right, to your lights, make sure you have them all taped. This hidden light right here, make sure that's taped and then taped as you're moving back. Tape, and then here's your other parking brake, make sure that's engaged. Moving over here to your faucet box. Again, make sure it's secured with type three nylon all the way around or two inch tape. Make sure your light is taped as well. So your tubes are taped all the way around. Now, you're gonna go ahead and climb all the way up to the top. You're gonna check to make sure your two hooks, all right, they're secured individually with one piece of type three nylon. Now, you're gonna use that phase two gang sign. So remember my two outside fingers, all right, those represent the two outside sling legs. So you're just gonna trace. This one's going to the front. Your second one, tracing to the back. Your third it is tracing to the back. And your fourth, it is traced all the way to the front. Now, this load, you're gonna have one cluster breakaway, so you're gonna make sure that your breakaway, one time, one time only, and it is quarter inch cotton webbing. And you're gonna check your bolt, your castellated nut, and your cotter pin.